friends, Robin here with Matt Man and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing shoe boxes year round for Operation Christmas Child. Today we have an unboxing for a teenage girl. I say teenage girl. I, I'm going to say that forever in my channel. These boxes are really for girls aged 10 to 14. So they are not all teenagers that will be receiving this box. And this one's theme is Purple Butterfly. So I am so excited to get into this one. It has a lot of items contributed by you. So this is our box. Um, I do wanna show you the box right here. It is a fairly large box. Um, just for some comparison, here is a Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child box, and um, they are exactly the same height, but um, this one is about an inch and a half wider. So um, it is on the larger side. Sorry, I keep bumping the table. Um, but it is still an actual shoe box. So I have not wrapped this box or um, included the tag, which is right here for a girl, 10 to 14, because I'm not certain this is the final box I'm going to use. Everything that's in here are the final objects that will be in this box. But um, if you can tell, this box is kind of um, masculine in color, in my opinion. And so I might um, repurpose this for a soccer box. And I might get a couple um, boxes from Ikea that I have seen you guys use for the contents that are actually in this one. But I was so excited about this box. I had to put it together so that we can unbox it um, on the channel with you. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the box. The first thing on here are these 107 rubber bands. And um, if something is from Amazon, I will link it below, starting with these rubber bands. So here is <clears throat> my letter to this little girl. Um, and on the side is my handwritten note. And on the side is the translation in four different languages of this note. And last year, I put these on the bottom of my box, which a lot of you guys do, saving the best for last. Um, but in speaking with a missionary in the field, sometimes they like to um, see if there is a letter on top and if there is an email address. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. If there is an email address, the missionary will sometimes reach out to the donor. So I thought I want to leave it right on top for the missionary. But then Denise, in her brilliance, and this is true, I, I witnessed this at the Packing Center too, said that so many times uh, inspectors get so focused on making sure that the contents of the box um, are allowed to go through customs that sometimes the letter gets set on the table and misplaced and doesn't go in with its box. So I found myself in a pickle. <laughs> what do I do? So what I am going to do for this year is, many of you uh, lovely ladies decorate this top of the box. Um, a lot of times I like to use clear boxes or plastic boxes. I will do this with either kind. Um, and instead of sending a decoration, I'm going to tape the card right here. That way it's on top for the missionary to see and for the child to see, but it's not in a, in a place where it might get misplaced by the inspector. So I think that is my best of both worlds solution. And I'm going to try that this year for our 2022 packing season. Let me know what you think. Um, it's a work in progress. We learn from each other and we share and I think it just makes packing better and better every time we grow. I've been doing this for, gosh, at least 15 years. 
years ish because your girl's old and every year I think of something new and every year I learn something new so if you're just starting and you feel overwhelmed it doesn't matter like you are on the if your heart wants to do this you're already in the right place and you cannot fail um, so long as you don't put any of the restricted items you are good to go and I know you can do it so let's take a look at what she will see when she opens her box hoping that none of it falls out okay so here is the top of her box and I did pack it so that the wow items there are several wow items in this large box but so that the main wow items for a child to enjoy and get excited about are right on top so first I'm going to start off with this sewing kit this is an amazing sewing kit that I found on clearance at Walmart for under $2. I don't remember the exact price, but I've seen some of you ladies haul this as well on the Facebook group. It has a lot of great stuff in it, including some um, sewing scissors and needles, and it's just got a lot of great, great stuff. So that's right on top. And then also I found this little um, cross stitch at the 99 cent only store. So it was actually $2 for a set of four, which makes this 50 cents. And it does come with all of the things you need, including the needle and the instructions. And they are like Lego instructions or Ikea instructions, meaning no words, just pictures. So. There is this cross stitch included for her. Um, I also have some little gems, treasures, nuggets, whatever you wanna call them, that just kinda got stuffed in after my box was full. I continued packing and this is one of those. Um, they are little discs that interconnect kind of like um, Lincoln Logs or Legos, just a fun little um, stem game. Here is a bouncy ball, and I've actually put this one in a plastic bag because um, it was sticking to the other bouncy balls, so I didn't want it to stick to anything in the box. Um, right on top, I know usually the um, stuffy is a wow item, but this box just had so many big things, so her stuffy is quite small, but it is still really adorable and soft. I got this at after Christmas clearance at Hobby Lobby for $1. Um, next <clears throat> is her hair accessories kit. I have included this really pretty um, bow and I actually got this at my Kroger, my local grocery store on a little end cap. They were on sale, um, I think it was a set, it came in a set of bows, and however many it was, they ended up being 50 cents each. And so that's kind of my, I'm aiming for at least 50 cents um, or lower for bows. But I thought these were really cute with their gems on the end, and they're fairly large, see? Um, and then inside her little organza bag here that had the bow clipped to it, she has two regular hair ties and two of these jeweled hair ties that you wrap um, you wrap around your hair and then kind of like twist them around and it looks like this and then this is actually a headband it's just kind of shrunk down but it stretches it's a stretchy headband and if she has really short hair um, and can't wear her hair in a ponytail or this kind of clip won't sit in her hair, she can still put this on her headband and put it around her head to wear a bow. Um, and then the very last thing in her hair accessories organza bag are these clips because we all have flyaways um, and even really short hair can have these clips in it. So I hope by sending this variety of hair items that I have covered the gamut of hairstyles 
um, hair thicknesses, hair lengths that she could have, um, and still giving her options to snazz up her head. <laughs> also on top here is this really fun poppet. It is a purple butterfly shaped. I got this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, I also got this comb at the Dollar Tree. I did purchase it before it went to $1.25, so I got this for a dollar. The pom-pom does come off, but I'm leaving it on because I think it is darling. And this is a very high quality comb. Um, someone asked um, if kiddos still use combs, and I believe yes. My nieces um, are eight and under, and or the specific nieces I'm talking about. I have several nieces. And um, I know that their mom will brush their hair with a comb after they shower. So that's my thinking, that's my thought process in supplying combs is that um, everyone can use them even if they have crazy fluffy hair. When it's wet, a comb will go through it. I have also included this amazing calculator that I just received from Denise. Um, as you can tell, I have mod modified it a little bit. There is an off button here and I have used some masking tape, some pink masking tape to tape the off button down in hopes of saving the battery. And I have also included two additional uh, AA batteries. So. If you are going to include batteries in your box for any reason, um, just so they can have batteries or at like I am as a supplement, um, Samaritan's Purse asks that you either leave them in the original packaging or be sure to tape off the top and the bottoms. Um, I think that is because they don't want it to accidentally touch some metal and create a spark in the box. It could also be for customs reasons, but I think it's just for safety. So here's this beautiful purple calculator. This next organza bag I'm so excited about. There are a lot of little goodie bags in this box because a lot of the stuff I think is private. Um, but this is not private. This is a fun organza bag. And this is her jewelry bag. Um, many of you guys saw earlier this month, yes, this month, that I found a whole bunch of jewelry and watches on clearance at Walmart. I did a real short video. Um, it, it wasn't even like 20 seconds long, just announcing, hey, if you're near Walmart, check this out. But I split up those earrings into little sets, and these are the earrings I'm including in this box. I actually got this idea from Sharon at East Coast Stories. Um, she puts her earrings on foam stickers, and so I thought that was just a brilliant idea, and I have done that as well. She has a pair of silver and gold butterfly earrings. These are little gems, and these are gold studs to go in her little jewelry pouch. Um, I have also included these really fun items. They are a little bit younger, uh, but she could be a 10 year old um, or she could be a 14 year old. So I wanted to include both age ranges. Here is a really fun bracelet. It does have a butterfly on it, but it is one of those um, just a colorful bracelets that you can adjust the length here. I got this actually at Dollar General in 2021 for 10 cents in their summer super clearance event. And here is the other younger style jewelry that I have included. It is a butterfly necklace. This is a really uh, cute, thick quality plastic butterfly. And if these are too young for her, then they um, she will be able to give them as gifts, which is also, um, something that these children might not, they might not have ever received a gift and they might not have ever been able to give a gift. So I did include those. Um, the other jewelry that I am including is this necklace set and I'm including all of it. It's a really pretty high quality chain and then there are six different charms that she can interchange. And this one here, it has a purple flower 
and that's why I thought it needed to go in this box. I got this at the 99 cent store, uh, 99 cent only store, um, and it was actually 99 cents for all of these items. So I was so happy to include that in this box. And the last bit of jewelry in her little organza bag, many of you guys will recognize this. Um, it is also from Walmart. I got this on clearance. And it is the set of bracelets, and it has, if it'll be still, that is an L. So it was um, initially marketed as initials. <laughs> and I asked you guys, should I leave the, the pretty heart on or should I take it off? And you all said leave it on. So I did, and I have put a little tag here that says L is for love. And then on this side, I put L is for Lord. So she will know what the L is for. And maybe, you know, God knows where this is going. And it could be going to a little girl whose name starts with an L. So, <coughs> excuse me, got choked up. Ooh, I love water. <coughs> so that is her jewelry pouch. And um, there's so much, so much in this box. So stay tuned. Um, here is my lanyard and whistle that I like to include in every box. And these whistles were actually provided by Angie. So thank you so, so much, Angie. I'm trying to keep a list over here of everyone who's contributed to this box. And I will thank you um, again at the end. And I will put your names below, like as a big thank you. I got this at Valentine's Clearance. It is a magneted notepad. Um, this is the amazing flashlight. It is a pump flashlight crank. Um, and I like to include these in my boxes. I got this one at Dollar Tree for $1.25. I also got this bag at Dollar Tree. This is the new ones that I have seen and um, I believe you can also order these in bulk online. They are just a regular drawstring bag, but it does have an additional front pouch here. Um, so if you are interested in these, I will see if I can link them below um, to Dollar Tree because I like them. They are good quality. Also during that summer clearance at Dollar General last year, I picked this up for 15 cents. So adorable and beautiful. And now here is a, um, a packet of foam stickers. It's all butterflies and flowers and specifically purple butterflies. These are actually Dia de los Muertos stickers that I picked up on clearance at Michael's. Here is her toy wow item right here um, inside of her cup. Um, I have included this really fun specialty pin and it's the same fluffy ball that's on her comb with this beautiful butterfly at the top and i have also included down in here googly eyes because i like to include these in every box i feel like those little um the toys that we get like party favor toys this is my favorite party favor toy I feel like it gets more than one day of play out of it so that's why I include these um, whoa 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 flying things things flying out of the cup these are the figurines that I like to include in every box for a girl a pink and purple horse and very important item is a cross so this is her cross that she will um, be able to cherish. Now the toy wow item, here she is. There are actually two dolls in here if you look close. I really like to include two. Um, I forget when this started for me, when I, whoever it was that mentioned this that said that they like to include two of something. It might've even been cars but that way the child gets to play. Um, you can either <clears throat> play Barbies by yourself or you can play Barbies with a friend. And I think that's so important for learning social skills. So, but these aren't just any Barbies, they're fairy Barbies. And I thought that went perfect with her 
purple butterfly theme. I got both of these at Walmart on um, end of summer clearance last year. I think, I think this one was under $2 and I think this one was under $1, but they're adorable. And I have also included some accessories for them. This is for her Chelsea doll. She has a little backpack and it also came with like a camera and a toothbrush and a neck pillow for the Chelsea doll to play with. And I have included for her big Barbie doll, a beautiful purple ball gown. And these are kind of hard to see cause they're against purple, but there's a purple purse and a purple headband and a purple necklace, I believe, are all in here because this is a purple box and so she needed her purple ball gown. Um, the wings are actually, if you can see, they are attached to the dress, not to the doll. So um, she can, when she takes off this outfit, she's no longer a fairy. All right. I will stuff this little organza bag back after the video. Um, now on to her, well, I guess there's a few more play items. Here are her two moving vehicles. I like to include two cars in every box. Again, just like the dolls, so they can learn social skills and play with others. Plus, I loved playing with cars and Hot Wheels growing up, so I thought she would too. And these were donated by my dad, so thanks, Dad. <laughs> and... The last little nugget in here is this um, glow stick set. It has sun sunglasses. I guess they're, they're not sunglasses because you wear them at night, but glasses and bracelets, a regular glow stick, and two rings all in this packet. I got these recently actually, even though they are Halloween clearance items. I got them, um, I think late. January, my Michaels got a shipment of Halloween items that went straight to 80% off. So I picked this up for I think 30 cents. Now, everything she has left in here is a pouch of some sort. I'm gonna hold up the box and show you. I just have to get everything out of the lid that I've been utilizing. Oh my gosh, this was not a great idea. Okay. So here are her pouches that are left, if you can kind of see. <laughs> um, which pouch should we do next? Let's do this one. This is her hygiene pouch, and I actually got this idea from Annabeth with sending shoe boxes, so thanks for this idea. Um, the pouch itself came from Dawn. So I'm gonna put Dawn's name on this list over here. So thank you, Dawn. Oh, and we got the calculator from Denise. So we need to put Denise over here. Okay. And then once you open this up, what is in here is this beautiful a purple washcloth that came from Valerie. I know you guys have seen these with um, other YouTubers. I just want to say the same thing that everyone else says. They're great quality. They're really soft and fluffy. And thank you, Valerie, for sending this one. Um, I have also included a mask for her. It says, keep calm. I got that for free at my Kroger. Here is her purple lip smackers chapstick and the printable, which you can um, use. I've linked my printable link down below. You can use this if you want. Um, but the Lip Smackers I actually got at, after Christmas clearance for 90% off. Um, uh, here is her fingernail clipper and nail file. These are contributed from Angie, and I also have a printable in there. So let me add Angie to our list. And here is her soap. It is an ivory soap and it is in its original packaging. I've just slipped it down inside this soap saver that I get at Daiso. And her toothbrush. 
and a spoon. This is a Reach toothbrush. I buy these in the travel section at Walmart. You get two for a dollar and they come with their caps. You can also find them in the regular toothbrush section, but then you get six toothbrushes and only five caps for $3. So I think it's more economical to buy the two for $1 in the travel section. And the spoon came from Ikea. So with the toothbrushes, um, this, this year it was pointed out to me that the kiddos want to receive them in original packaging. However, I had already unwrapped most of these and I buy them in bulk. So my thought process is I'm going to try to find a way, um, Sonia is doing this, where she is putting them in like a cellophane bag, some way that they are enclosed so that they know that these are hygienic to use. So I used Annabeth's idea this time of making a little hygiene kit because I had the space in this box. So I'm hoping that by including these already unboxed toothbrushes in the hygiene kit, it makes it feel a little more clean and new. So let me know what you think. Again, we're learning together and I already have a ton of unboxed toothbrushes and I may continue to buy them that way. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. Let me know what you do. The next um, pouch in here, this is actually her um, school bag, her pencil bag with all of her school supplies. I wanna go through this last so that I can open it up and show you everything and that they don't go all over my table. So I'm gonna do this last but that's what was next in the box. This pouch I actually got on clearance from Walmart. It was after Christmas clearance. I think I got it for $1.50 and it had a whole bunch of like face washes and lotions and stuff in it that we cannot include. So I just put them in my bathroom and I'm using them. Um, but I have used this to kind of give her a little bit of privacy for something that's in here. Um, this is her bandana. Um, it's actually an infinity scarf, but it's such a beautiful print. I had to show you. Um, so I included this infinity scarf for her as sort of like a fashion statement. The other article of clothing that is in here is a, an adorable pair of socks. And they have a little girl on them and her hair is purple. And the socks are purple, so I wanted to send in this purple one but here is what she looks like i think she's so cute she kind of looks like her little um fairy barbie a little bit so there are her purple socks and then the last thing in here which is why i put it in this bag this is a training bra i actually got these on clearance last year in a pack of two for three dollars so this bra was a dollar fifty and it um, has not, it's nice and padded, not for extra size, but for support. Um, and the, the straps are adjustable. And so I just thought this was a really high quality training bra to send to this little girl um, aged 10 to 14. When I was at the inspection center, <laughs> A distribution center I did see some boxes come through that would say like they would be marked girl 10 to 14 but they would say on them like please give to a 14 year old so I might do that in this box I don't know what do you think is that too specific um, there's just a lot of more mature items in here that I think a teenage girl would need so that was what was in this little pouch here it was her little clothing pouch and then ee, we've made it to my very first time to get to include reusable menstrual pads. So here is the pouch. This is the wet bag. And these are the um, menstrual pads. And I decided it, there's no wrong way to do this, no right way to do this, but I decided to leave them in this plastic for sanitary reasons for the child. Um, so they don't feel uncomfortable using them. Also, um, I just for more discretion. Not that this clear thing provides more discretion, but you know, I was very embarrassed as a teenage girl about this situation. So I'm trying to be as discreet as possible. So that is how it is packaged. 
Let me show you a little bit more about what is in here because I have put some things in here. So the very first thing that I put in here are instructions. And these are printables. It's a printable that I made based on seeing other people's printables. So um, if you want, it is linked below. On this side, it tells you how to use them. And on this side, it tells you how to wash them. I've also included the manufacturer's instructions, but they are in a, it's a whole bunch of words and it's all in English. Whereas these have three different languages. So I will just include both in this little pouch here. Um, and because it told her how to clean them and dry them, and I just received some paracord from a neighbor, I have included this bit of cording and these um, clothes pins so that she can wash and dry her menstrual pads. Then the rest of the items in here are, um, these are two pair of underwear, size 14. And then this is a pair of underwear, just one pair, but I have um, attached one of the, the pads so that she can see how to use it. So might not be discreet here on this video, but I hope by including it in this pouch that it will be discreet when she receives it, um, just to give her some dignity because for me it was a very embarrassing time in my life um, then I do have a few flat things not very many there's this booklet of stickers these are from Michaels um, oh I did not say that Valerie is the one who's graciously supplied these specific set of um, menstrual pads so thank you Valerie for such a great blessing um, here are the stickers I'm going to include. They're from Michaels, and there's just a whole bunch of really cute butterflies and owls and flowers. So, very generic butterfly sticker booklet. Here is her composition notebook for school. Just lined, it is wide roll. I think, yes, wide roll 80 sheets. And I do like to include the um, plastic one on both sides. And then here is her coloring book. It is Shimmer and Shine at Nickelodeon. And I love these images in here. They're so detailed and so fine that I thought um, that this was better for a 10 to 14 year old girl that has better fine motor skills than maybe a toddler. So that is why I picked this. Plus all of their beautiful jewelry kind of go with the really fun jewelry set that she received. And the last thing, oh my goodness, good heavens to Betsy. Okay, <laughs> the last thing in here is her very stuffed pencil pouch. Um, don't forget that she does already have a specialty pen and a calculator. I believe those are the only school supplies that are already down in this box as I open this. So this pouch and some of the items in here were provided by Angie, Izzy, Denise, Sonia, and Valerie. Um, and then a few others that have specific tags on them. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out, this is a Fiskars um, pencil sharpener that I recently got on Walmart clearance for 25 cents at the same time that I found those um, $1 jewelry sets. This is her multi-click pen, and it does have a purple tip, but the inks are red, blue, black, and green. And I have also included this additional red pen, and I am including an additional red pen in every box because I believe, I really wish I knew. I need to look this up. Um, one country requires that the child give their teacher a red pen for them to be able to come to school. So now um, this child will get to keep their multi-click pen and have a red pen for their teacher. I have also included a set of coloring pencils or colored pencils, depending on how you say that. 
these are the ones that she will receive. I had to make sure she had the purple, so this one's purple. Um, here is her Amazon Basics highlighter. Here is a really cute journal that she can use, and it is lined. And I will link all of these um, in the description box below for you. Here is an, another specialty pin. This is a sparkly gel pin. I loved these when I was in middle school, so I wanted to include this for her to play with. Here is her four yellow pencils. These are Ticonderoga pencils. And five, six, six specialty pencils. So she has this striped one with purple in it. This uh, different, different like stripe also with purple in it. A purple polka dot pencil. A purple pencil with a purple eraser. Uh, a second polka dot pencil and a purple mechanical pencil. Um, I have also included this really cute octopus with a unicorn horn. So this is so cute. I got this in a set at Walmart for a dollar. Um, there is this very um, heavy duty, great quality pink pearl eraser from Sonia. And the um, pencil toppers that came with that, the same brand. These are so such great quality. So she will not want for erasers because it also included two purple ones. These are just from Dollar Tree. There's this crayon top one and a regular uh, standard one that we all get. And the very last two things in this box are from Annabeth and Ashton. These great Westcott scissors. And from Jessica with Foothills Family. So... Thank you guys. This box, literally, I could not have done it without you. We did it together. There were things in here from Angie and Dawn and Denise, Valerie, Izzy, Sonia, Annabeth and Ashton and Jessica and all of the Foothills family. And if you provided something and I forgot your name at the end, I'm so sorry. Um, but I really love this box. I was so excited about it. Um, I've been praying for it and waiting for it and I just couldn't wait anymore. So let me know what you think in the comments below, um, and help me continue to grow and learn in my packing. I hope you learned something too. So in case no one has told you guys, I love you lots. Bye.